Hi Horizons, good morning. Top of the morning to you. Again, please excuse my background. It's early morning, 8.30 start, and there are people up in the house. So how's your morning going so far? Have you done a lot? Have you done a little? Have you just woken up? Are you just trying to get motivated straight away? Today's Monday morning motivation wake up session and we are going to talk about revisiting your goals because I know you have some, I know you've got some goals and I want to talk to you about them. I want you to really look at your goals and revisit them because I, I, everybody got a little bit of goals, you know what I'm saying? What's the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning? Because usually that is what kind of gets us started into the day and through the afternoon and into the evening. Sometimes it gets that far, sometimes it doesn't. But what are those things that you prioritize first thing in the morning for yourself when you wake up? Mine is, I had a, I used to have a habit where I woke up and the first thing I thought about is, where was the highlight in my day? What's the first thing that's gonna make me feel good today, right? Because I'm genuinely, naturally a happy person. I'm naturally a positive person. I like to focus on the bright side. So when I woke up, that was the first thing my mind took me to. Now things have changed and I'm practicing having a lot more faith in my life. So the first thing I do now is I pray when I wake up in the morning. And I'll tell you one thing, that starts me off for the day nice and right because the, cold, the control's not in my hands. I give it all to the most high. I just give it to him. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, hey, mister, hey, take everything. Just take it all. And thanking him for even allowing me to see another day. And it's just it just puts your heart in the right place. Definitely recommended if that's something you're not doing. So talking about goals, talk about your goals specifically. What are they? What are your goals? Some people might be wanting to lose weight. Some people want to get a new job. Some people want to quit their job. Some people want to do, get a new car. I, I don't know what it is. But the main thing is, is what are you doing? What steps are you taking to get to those goals? Some people have goals where they have them and park them on the shelf and never revisit them again for like maybe what, three months, six months, a year, or even forget. And then a couple of years later, be like, oh yeah, I remember. I remember if that was a goal, sweetie, do you remember? <laughs> or whatever. But um, if you have like a burning goal, this video really is for you because I want you to then look at how you're approaching that goal so you can achieve it. Now, a lot of the audience on this channel are all, they're all interested in investing in property, have already started investing in property or uh, just simply looking to get started. So I'm presuming your goals may be around that area somewhere, wanting to get started into property and not necessarily knowing the exact steps to take tapes, sorry, st st exact steps to take, or you want to, you know, get your second buy to let house or something like that. And that's a fantastic goal to have, whatever your goals are, as long as they're in line with what it is you want for your life and for yourself, then go for it. Now, my question is, have you written your goals down? Now, there's different types of learners. We've got kinesthetic learners, doers, seers, heroes, and all that other stuff. Some people are great at all of them. But no matter what, writing things down always anchors things. It always creates an anchor. It's almost just like you just write it down and it impresses upon your brain and you remember it a lot more better. So if you haven't written down that one burning goal that you have, write it down this very week. This is a Monday morning. You are starting your week. I want you to really be thinking objectively about the way you're going about about your life, the way you're getting, setting your goals, and then how you're tackling these goals. So first thing is write it down, write it down. It, it could be A4 paper, it could be A3 paper, it could be no paper, it could be on the back of the, the back of something. Write it down and stick it somewhere, maybe on your fridge, maybe on a wall, so you can remind yourself. Personally, I have a little journal that I write in and um, that's where I write all my stuff in and I revisit that regularly to see where I've got, where I am and so forth. But we'll get to that. So the key thing is writing it down straight away. Writing down your goals can be quite daunting, especially if they're big goals, okay? So I do mentoring and a lot of the people who sit on my sessions, they have goals um, that may be wanting to earn 20,000 pounds a month within the next 12 months. That's a huge goal. So the first way or an, a structure that I like to follow is using the SMART goal system. I learned this in doing my business degree and um, what we had to do with set goals that were SMART. And I'm sure a lot of you already heard of it, but I wanna revisit this with you today because it's important. SMART goals, what is that abbreviated for? Well, specific, measurable, 
attainable, realistic, and time bound. Your goal will have all of those little components in and therefore you, you know, you've put a date on it. You know exactly what it is you want. You know it's a realistic thing. So this thing, this goal of wanting to achieve 20,000 pounds a month in 12 months, how realistic is that, right? That was the R section. And, or, or how relevant was it? I think R was relevant, sorry. R, R is not re realistic, it's relevant. But at the same time, sometimes I say, is it realistic? R needs to be realistic and relevant because some of these goals, they just blow me out the water, honey. I think we all want to do 20 grand a month within 12 months. And I, it's possible. I, I don't want to be a dream killer. It's very possible. But, you know, some people are juggling three kids and have a whole husband or a whole wife. And uh, you're trying to get that kind of money. You'll be neglecting your family. And then you need to look at where your priorities are. Where are your priorities? Is it chasing the money? Or is it chasing, you know, or is it being there for your family? Because with children, you only can grow them one time. You don't get that time back. So once they are up and out the house, whatever you taught them in that house, they're gonna take on with them. And if your goal is on making money, what are you teaching your children? What time are you able to put into your children when that's the goal? Because again, reaching 20,000 pounds a month, that kind of goal is gonna make you, you're gonna be working your ass off, okay? Sorry, so I shouldn't even be talking like that, it's a Monday morning, but you'll be working your butt off, okay? So whatever goal you have, write it down on paper and use that smart goal strategy that will allow you to really approach your goal in a strategic way. A lot of the time, we have the answers when we are going about achieving our goals, okay? So even if you write that goal down on a piece of paper and you don't even know where to start with when it comes to achieving it, just ask yourself, if I was to know how to go about achieving this goal, where would I start? What would I do? What would be the steps I'd take? And two weeks ago, we touched on changing your beliefs, right? And one thing of, one of those things where the power of your, there's so much power in the questions you ask, right? And the information you can find or you can get or you can retrieve is very much dependent upon the questions you are asking so if you ask poor rubbish questions like how you know can I even do this that's already coming from a negative perspective you want to start asking yourself questions in a way that gives you the answers that you want all right so how can I do this not you know is this even for me you know ask yourself questions particularly if it's in a goal that you know you want to do all right you go you know you want you know you want to get a new uh, investment property that's what i know right it's good for me it's going to help me and my family so why how can i do this maybe you don't know but if i was to know what would be the steps i take and then you'll find your brain starts telling you oh this is what you gotta do this is what you gotta do you gotta do that when well, you speak to this person you gotta speak to that person because they did it i don't know but if i speak to them they could tell me and, uh, and then you can get your answers that way. So it might not be you directly getting the answers, but you, you, you'll be led <laughs> in the direction you need to go to get your answers. So, you know, a lot of this, um, a lot of it is in your hands. A lot of this is just all in your hands, you know? So just take control. As you go into the beginning of your week, I want you to think about the habits that you have. Our habits tend to give us our reality, right? So if you're having habits where you're not being consistent, you have habits where you're always leaving things to chance, you're a procrastinator, then these type of things will mean that your goals will not be met because you're always leaving them to last. You're just not prioritizing the important things in your life. So look at the habits that you have and be brutally honest with yourself. In this journal that I mentioned where I speak about my goals, it's almost like a life journal and I've I've been quite brutal and I've, I've written down my weaknesses in there. <laughs> I wrote down my weaknesses up in there. And you may want to do the same thing because if you have a weakness where you're being 100% honest with yourself, right? We're being 100% honest with yourself now because only you and yourself looking in the mirror and you got to write down on that piece of paper that I always start things and I can never finish them because that's a common thing. That's a big thing. I mean, hey, everybody's guilty a little bit of that, right? You start things and you do not finish them then you gotta be honest with yourself. This is what I do. So if, if, if there's a chance I might start this and not finish this. So what can I do to make sure that does not happen? Right, what, what can I do? This, this stuff takes sitting down and thinking about, it's not really like something you sit and do within an hour. This is something you really sit down and maybe spend a whole weekend on, uh, on a personal level, not necessarily just around this goal, but just on a personal level. What type of things do you do that makes your life or not even make sure like that, you know, what kind of things that you're doing that are not allowing you to achieve your goals, okay? Let's just keep it on there. So there's three things I want you to do this week. If you have a goal that you really like, that you really want to pursue, you're very serious about it and not too sure how to start getting going, then I want you to do these three things. First thing is write it down. We've already said that, so I won't go into too much detail. 
Second thing is start small, okay? So when you've written it down, you've written down what you need to do and do the steps, it can be overwhelming. Start small, don't even think about the whole goal after that. Start at step one. So it might be just making that first initial phone call inquiry to inquire about this or that, or you know, is there any properties available? Or you know, having a chat with your boss about a particular area around the project, depending on what your goal is. Just start small, take the first step, and that's all you gotta do, sit back. Take, start small, take, 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 take this first step, and then next week, maybe Monday, after this 8.30 session that you watched, <laughs> then you take step two, okay? And build up a little habit, build up a habit of uh, going to your goal book and looking at it and reviewing it on a weekly basis. One thing you can do is set an alarm in your phone. Set an alarm in your phone and say, hey, it's that time, it's that, it's that goal certain time, let's go and check it out. And that will help you remember to do it. Third thing and last thing is telling a friend, a family member, a partner, a husband, a wife, tell someone who you can bounce off of, who they will help you with your goals, who they will just encourage you with your goals. Uh, because we all need a little bit of encouragement every now and then, uh, especially if you're trying to achieve something that's new for you, it's quite daunting. Help to tell someone, maybe even find a buddy who's on the same journey with you and uh, you're both going for the same goals and you can bounce off of each other each week, set a time in the diary, once a week, this time, this is what we're gonna talk about, this is how we're gonna help one another, and, and that's that. You know, being in school, being in college, you remember those days when you have friends and you, you go and do studies and you go and study with someone? It's a similar thing, but you're doing this in your working life and you're doing it around your personal life and your personal goals. There's nothing wrong with you sharing them, unless it's private, of course, don't share them if it's not, if it's private, but sharing them and having a buddy to help you with that. I mean, this, this is what life is all about, okay? I don't say in the Bible, love your neighbor. So help help one another, help one another. Don't be don't be caught up. And that's another thing, Some sometimes in our community, we like to get caught up in this singleness of wanting to do things alone and conquer alone. But don't do that. Share with your neighbor, share with your neighbor talk to your friends talk to your family get people involved right and uh, work with them if you can even work with them if you can thank you for watching stay tuned for next week's session we are going to be talking about delayed gratification so stay tuned for that 8 30 sharp be there or be square and let's get started with a great week i hope you guys have an amazing week i you know really trust in you i believe in you i know that you're going to have an amazing week let's do this take care bye